The penguin exhibit at the zoo is not the place I thought it would be. I mean, it is exactly the place I thought it would be in that it is technically an exhibit in a zoo teeming with penguins of various general squeaking, flipping around and shitting their brains out exactly as advertised. It's just not the place I thought it would be to trip intensely on several grams of cubensis mushrooms and connect with the everythingness of it all. When I actually got there and started tripping intensely, I immediately felt sick and I immediately felt shameful and less than seeing all these children and mothers. They probably all thought I was some creep and that was all I could think about. That they thought there had to be something wrong with me. Because there was. I was sweating profusely and doubling over. Because all the nerves in my back and shoulders were flickering on and off like fireflies with bee stingers. I'd try to separate myself from the pack. From the decent people. So I could level out. Free of self-judgment. But the exhibit is circular so everywhere I went. I was on my way to more children and more mothers and more little eyes looking at me sweating and choking back bile. I resorted to standing as close as I could to the glass wall that separated the penguins and their little Santa village from the humanity. I stood there with my face almost touching the glass. So close that I had almost no peripheral vision and I could feel the cold emanating from inside the enclosure. It was just me and the penguins for about 45 minutes. Well, I actually had to close my eyes after about 15 seconds. Watching those things swim around in little laps was making me want to puke. I was tripping balls. So I had my eyes closed pretty much that whole time. The visuals were insane. It's always hard to describe visuals after a trip. But it was like I was in a tunnel of twisting, interlocking colors that kept changing and self-generating new tunnels with new interlocking twists of changing colors. But I could hear the penguins the whole time and the kids. But after about 15 minutes I stopped hearing the kids. The moms must have seen that I was trying to enjoy a heavy trip and cleared the place out for me. When I finally opened my eyes the place was totally empty, except me and the penguins. I walked back to the center of the room to sit on the safety rail and finally admire the penguins in peace, how I imagined it would be. Then right when I sat down the biggest penguin in the exhibit started puking blood everywhere. I'd say projectile vomiting, but it was really more of a spray. It looked like he almost aerosolized it. Craziest thing I've ever seen. Next thing I know some lady who looks like a zoo cop is there and at that point I'm relieved, because I'm like yo this penguin is fucking sick. It needs help. But then all of a sudden she starts trying to put handcuffs on me and stuff and telling me to go with her and I was like why? She told me they'd got complaints that, uh, some long haired dude was visibly intoxicated in public around a whole field trip full of children. I was like whatever I didn't have anything on me. I didn't even smoke before I came. Just shrooms. They gave me a breathalyzer on site, but I blew a 0.00 so they couldn't do anything. Now I'm thinking of suing the zoo for handcuffing me. My uncle is a lawyer and he says I could. Oh and I did look it up. That penguin was actually okay. It was just fish blood. They do it all the time in captivity.